Hmm. Who are you? you need Water. Yeah, who are you? What do you need? Uh, what can I do to help? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers. But if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. How many are there? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. That's all right. I'll keep it in mind. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. All right. Well, back to work. That's all right. I think I already spotted one of those leaks earlier. A little water was squirting out of a pipe, but we'll deal about with that later. I want to check out Moira's crater side supplies. What the f Oh. Okay, that's a bit loud. Physics, folks. Physics. Alright. Ah, this must be it. Hey there, Moira. I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Her voice is a bit... Painful, but she seems nice. Um, where'd you get the wall suit? I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. She didn't know a thing about the wastes, and I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Never saw her again. Probably died out there, poor thing. In a way, she gave me the idea to write this book. It's yours, if you help. All right. Got plenty to say, of course. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. Mm, no fear, no worries, no fighting. The main room. <laughs> uh... And that food is the <laughs> okay. I, th I think we'll be a bit facetious here. Yeah, I can't even see the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward, open with a joke and all that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. Thanks, that'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you. And it'll be fun. Probably. What's this book? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. Oh. Mm -hmm. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Sounds like that already happened a few times to you, Moira. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll help. All right, then. Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. What? Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Mm, radiation. Well, I am pretty irradiated, so maybe that's useful. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. Ugh. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning, so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. You just said you didn't have living examples for long. How could it be possibly worth it? Oh, 
Oh, don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get back. Well, mostly just a whole lot of rad X and rad away. And maybe even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation. Assuming it works, of course. Yeah, she's really filling me with confidence there. But we'll help her. Maybe it'll be worth it. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Mm-hmm. Okay. We, we will do that in a moment, but maybe you can ask her about the android while we're here. Have you heard the so-called android recording? It sounds like an ordinary man. Here's a spare copy of that old holotape. It's a hoax for sure. Oh, thanks. Tell me more about this. I guess they sent those tapes to lots of people. Especially people like me who are interested in technology. Boy, I wish androids were real, though. Hmm. Alright, uh... Let me see what you have for sale. Absolutely. Alright, now caps are at actually bottle caps. Nuka-Cola bottle caps. Now, we did see Nuka-Cola before. Um, and it's basically the currency in this world nowadays. We will try and get our hands on a couple of those. Now, you can get more money if you um, have a higher bartering skill. But that's fine. I, I don't think we need to worry too much here. Good hunting. Try not to die. <laughs> Thank you. There's tons of junk out there in the in the wilderness that you can just collect and sell to various people. So getting money, while difficult at first, is not going to be that tricky. Okay, so she said that we need 600 red, right? And now we just have to stand here next to the bomb until we get that. Now we have, right now we have 200 red, which you can also check. Uh, in your stat screen, general, no, status, red, 209, see, and we lose endurance as a result, so we have less health because of it. Well, I'm just gonna pause the video here and we'll return once I have more than 600, so that uh, Moira's uh, calculations and tests will be the best they can be. Um, your reward for this quest is much better if you do um, if you do her optional missions, meaning that you don't just get the basic requirement but go the extra mile. All right. So we'll pause it here for a moment. See you in a second. Yeah. And we're back. We're almost done here. We just speed it up a little bit by drinking some irradiated water. Why not? Can't be bad, right? And we are now pretty badly irradiated, critically even. Let's quickly check our status again. See, minus three endurance, minus two agility, minus one, one strength. So that's quite a heavy dose we got. Hopefully it'll be sufficient for Moira, because otherwise I might just die. All right. Let's talk to her. Right there. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, that, that seems appropriate. I can tell. You're positively glowing. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Too tired to be sniped. You're a lucky one, you know. At this level, 
Most people don't make it. But then again, most people don't have my experimental tricks. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had the chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Yeah, hooray. A little ramen milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. What is this, homeopathy? Well, you're alive. Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um... Mutation, uh, but it seems to be benign at least what? Here take a few radiation chems as my little way of saying I'm sorry. I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn <laughs> Okay Actually, this is a good thing as you can tell crippled limbs will regenerate automatically if we are irradiated Makes no sense, but I'll take it Radiation grants us superpowers, apparently. All right, let's uh, continue with the research, right? I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. <laughs> and that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? I, I, I think getting food should be the, the first thing. I mean, the landmines won't go anywhere, will they? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay, I'll check it out. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Right. Good luck with that research. Eh, I think I think this is as much as we can force Clyde to do today. We'll end this episode here. I mean, he just got heavily irradiated, and in the next one we'll do some more side missions here in Megaton. For instance, I think that's a leak. All right, so see you next time, folks. Bye.